Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Vietnam War. I'm Mike B, and today we're going to be doing something that's slightly off topic, yet it's been being kind of quoted and referenced quite a bit in the comments, and I kind of wanted to address this before I move further with a what I think is a very important topic um, of the Vietnam War, several very important topics, but there's going to be one in specific. And uh, this is going to be regarding the Ken Burns documentary about the Vietnam War, aired on PBS um, was it last year or the year before? I don't remember. Um, I was still in college at that point, and I had to watch it for a history class. Um, that was, um, I forgot what the class was even about. It was pretty much like applied history or whatever, how to become a historian and all that stuff. So, But anyway, we covered the Vietnam War, and then this was coming out at that time. So um, I saw it probably before a lot of you guys did, because uh, apparently from what people have told me, it's on Netflix now. And... This is what I thought about it, and this is why i am kind of been saying in, in the comments, like, be careful about referencing this and using this as, like, the, the gospel of the Vietnam War. Um, we'll start out with the good, what I, what I thought was good about it. Now, granted, it's been a while since I've actually seen the entire thing. I watched it all the way through. Uh, the good thing is, or good things are, I like the soundtrack, of course. That's, that's always a good thing. The music from that era was actually pretty good. Um, cultural musical revolution going on there. It was very, very good stuff. Um, the stuff that survived and is very popular is amazing. Um, and even some of the stuff that's not mainstream is really good. So anyway, the music was good. I did appreciate the fact that he did get um, North Vietnamese and Viet Cong soldiers, veterans, to actually do interviews about their perspective. That was very cool. I really, I really enjoyed that. I thought that that was very well done to get a bunch of different, you know, that they were scared and whatever, just like the, the uh, rest of the people who were there fighting that whole thing. Um, I thought that was very good. I also thought the footage, the original footage was pretty good um, and how he tied the sign soundtrack in with some of the original footage about what happened was very good. I thought that the backstory about, you know, Ho Chi Minh and his relation with the rest of the world and you know the whole how communism even became a thing the the backstory about how the french occupied indochina which is now vietnam and laos and all that stuff and you know the history of the history of the history of the vietnam war was was pretty cool it was i mean he could only do so much and, and just get the macro points kind of taken care of but i did appreciate that um I even learned a few things off of that because then I went and made sure that it was factual and they were, and he did a pretty good job on that. Um, what else was good about it? So yeah, there was a lot of good footage, Ho Chi Minh, the history of that. Um, just the interviews in general were pretty decent. That's really all I can think of for the good for me right now. There probably is some more, and if I think of it, I'll throw it in at the end of the video. Now we're going to get to why I overall didn't like it. Um, first of all, you get into the opening few scenes, and again, it's been a while since I've seen this, but I remember it was you know a guy that was just kind of stuck um, under fire and whatever, and it, it immediately paints a picture of this is going to be negative the whole way through. Okay, and let me preface this with saying I don't agree with war. I, I'm I'm kind of a pacifist. Okay, I'm a hippie. You can make fun of me all you want. Uh, I think there is no such thing as a good war. Nobody wins a war. Everybody loses, except you know in recent years certain corporations and stuff. I'm trying to do this without getting too stupidly political, but unfortunately this entire topic you can't really avoid that. But um, so I don't think the Vietnam War was justified the way it started. You can argue that. I don't want to argue that. That is my opinion. I'm doing this to add some context to what I'm going to talk about next, okay? Basically, Ken Burns and PBS are very well known for leaning a little bit far left, okay, on the political spectrum. And that's totally fine. I don't really care. I don't have a I don't have a, any skin in the game. I'm not a Republican, a Democrat. I'm an independent, right? I formulate my own thoughts and I try to be objective even though nobody's totally objective. What I didn't like about the overall vibe of the entire, I think it was a 10-part series, uh, was the fact that it was blatantly one ideology. 
like the perspective of one ideology. When I watch a documentary about any subject, I want I want it to be like an actual journalistic style that's got more production value. Okay, so I want I want different perspectives. I want the overall thing to be neutral, like as it's presented, and I want it to be able to let the viewer not be guided to think a certain way. I want them I want them to portray the event or the the topic in a way that presents facts and perspectives from people that were there of all varying degrees and whatever. I want it to be as, I hate to use the term, fair as possible to let the viewer actually decide for themselves what they thought. And I want them to be, you know, more balanced and just present it for what it is and not necessarily subliminally, subliminally or even overtly push a, an ideology. And that's where I think Ken Burns didn't do a great job. The overall vibe was extremely left wing, anti Vietnam War, very like, you know, we, we lost, we didn't win, nobody wanted to be there after, you know, 65. The politicians were all corrupt and, you know, they all were doing this maliciously just to make profit and all this stuff. While there's some truth to all that, that's one perspective, okay? And although it is an important perspective because it, it existed and it still does. I don't think that anything else besides this very far left perspective was portrayed. Now, of course, when you're doing a documentary, you can put these things in there in such a way where if somebody's not totally familiar with the topic, they're going to believe what your perspective is from the way you present and edit everything together. And I saw that because when I look at something like that, I'm very critical of, um, of works like that, like documentaries. And I've seen a lot of documentaries. A lot of them are really good, and a lot of them are absolutely crappy. I view them as like a Hollywood movie, right? They're in that category, and you already saw my rant video about that. Now, I'm not totally shitting on the entire series because there were some good things about it, like I stated. Um, and the fact that it's getting people to kind of start thinking about the Vietnam War, you know, 50 some odd years later, is a positive thing. However, I'm worried that people are going to be taking this as the way it is. Um, one thing I also didn't really care for was the U.S. veterans, right? It, was, it seemed that most, about 90% of the United States veterans that were interviewed on that show had a very also anti, you know, they, they got there and they didn't want to be there and, you know, all this stuff and that it was just horrible and they came back and were treated like crap and and all that stuff. It was only that one style of experience, if you will. And I think they had one or two guys that actually said, yeah, you know, I, I thought what we were doing there was, you know, a good thing and whatever. And it's not that I agree with either viewpoint. It's just that I, I would have liked to see it more balanced and more, you know, kind of giving more than one perspective on the entire thing. And another thing that kind of subliminally, liminally, I cannot say that word to save my life, subliminally, struck me was the fact that it seemed that, that Ho Chi Minh, right, was painted as this like really nice guy and this, this really spiritual and charismatic guy that was fighting the fight for his people. Well, when you get into that kind of territory, you're being strictly idealist and I do not like that because that's how the Vietnam War started in the first place, okay? And that's the issue that I have with any kind of idealism, right? Whether it be far left, far right, this, that, the other thing which is why I try not to fall into that category myself, even though you know, I'm human, so I'm not perfect, of course. But when you paint somebody like that, who was responsible for many deaths, just as well as the US politicians, you're blatantly taking a side, and that was not okay with me. Um, sure, you can research Ho Chi Minh, and people loved him and stuff, but that was one perspective. That wasn't the behind the scenes. Whereas he did paint the United States politicians as just a bunch of crooked, criminal, you know, malicious, doing this on purpose for their own benefit and all that stuff. And like I said, there is some truth to that. I don't, you know, most of the pol U.S. politicians at that point, I just think were really incompetent. They were so stupid. And, you know, it might be a conspiracy that might have done this for ulterior motives and stuff. I just look at it and I'm like, you guys were so dumb. And you so didn't want to fail because you were dumb and you fucked up and made mistakes that you were willing to do anything to turn the tide of that decision so you wouldn't look like a jackass. That's more or less my opinion on the whole thing. That's from historical research 
and all that stuff. Now, the politicians in the Ken Burns series were painted as just straight up malicious thugs and criminals. And sure, you can have that viewpoint. I'm not here to debate that with you. I'm just stating this because I want to get into some more subjects that when people start referencing and quoting this Ken Burns documentary, it worries me that my point's not going to get through, a different perspective's not going to get through, and I'm trying to be as factual as possible, and I don't want that to blind and cloud everybody's judgment, and I need you to just understand that that's one perspective, okay? And the, I think the biggest issue I had with the entire documentary is if he was going to go that far left route, okay, he left out a major part of that entire conflict and pretty much left out an entire people. He mentioned him for, I think there was 10 minutes out of the entire thing, where he even mentioned the Laotian contribution and situation with the uh, Hmong and Montagnard people in Laos throughout the entire thing, okay? That really irritated me. It really did, and he didn't, you know, he was going on the after effects of, you know, the U.S. people and the South Vietnamese people, which, yeah, it sucks, but he also just didn't even bother to cover the Hmong suffering and what they went through after the war was over. Um, and that, that, that really irritated me. That was kind of the nail in the coffin for me saying, wow, this is like not that great. Um, I, I just thought that that definitely should have been at least covered for at least a half an episode. You know, if you're going to condense that all into 10 episodes, I get that you need to edit it for time and everything, but to, for 10 minutes and then you just kind of gloss over it like, oh, this was going on. That, that irritated me really bad. And so, and yeah, he didn't really mention any other allied nation or allied nation, South Vietnamese allied nations, such as Republic of Korea. So it just glossed over it and made it, it was basically an anti-war propaganda series is what I got out of it, right? Um, now, that being said, there were some good things, like I mentioned, there were some factual things. The, the, the vets weren't lying because that is their perspective, right? I'm not calling them liars. I'm not saying that they're wrong. That is, I just would have liked to see a more, more of a diverse um, selection of perspectives. And it seemed like it, overall it was painting the North Vietnamese and North Vietnam and the Viet Cong and Viet Minh and all that stuff as the good guys. And in a war, I don't think there's anything, you know, I don't think there's any such thing as the good guys. Everybody's guilty of, they're also, they're guilty and they're victims at the same time. So they're not really, there's no good guys in war. And it seemed that, you know, it was, it was really painting that far left perspective of the North Vietnamese were the good guys and the victims. It's like, well, everybody involved in that was a victim, right? Except for the way higher ups who were incompetent. And I mean, they were a victim of their own stupidity eventually, but that's a whole other thing. So the reason I bring this up is because the, the, the Laotian contribution is something that I'm going to be actually getting into because really nobody else seems to want to cover it. And I live in an area where there is a lot of Hmong presence of uh, the community, they settled here. This is one of the places where they settled very heavily. And I know a lot of Hmong people very well. I served with a lot of Hmong people. And they're really good. They're really intelligent. They're smart. And they are also very aware of their family's histories. And they kind of don't appreciate the fact that they're often, or most of the time, just overlooked and glossed over. So we're going to be starting to talk about that and I mean I could go in further into detail but I'm going to try to keep this under you know 30 minutes of kind of ranting. This is just some objective reasons of what I what I why I don't really care for that Ken Burns documentary and I would say take that entire thing with a grain of salt, okay? Question everything that's in there, question the perspectives, question the bigger picture. What is Ken Burns trying to get across to you? Oh, Vietnam war bad, US evil, North Vietnamese good. That's what I got out of it, right? Your, your opinion may be different. That's why, you know, we discuss things like this. But hopefully I got the point across about why I'm not a big fan of it. And that's why when somebody's saying, oh, have you seen the Ken Burns documentary? Yeah, I have. And this is what I thought about it. So you can get as angry as you want and pissed off. This is my opinion. Just because you don't agree with me doesn't mean that, you know, we need to get into a huge fight. You need to get all pissy. Um, if you do agree with me, cool. But I'm just letting you know my perspective for moving forward in this series. So, whew. all right. Thanks for watching. Um, if you made it this far, congratulations. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to covering the Laotian contribution to the Vietnam War. And then we'll get into the other allied countries. But the Laotian contribution was a bit more extreme than even the U.S. contribution. So, in my opinion. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. 
Uh, let me know in the comments. Try to keep it civil. If you disagree, that's fine. But just you know, don't start the name calling and the immature bullshit. I don't, I don't deal with that. Um, we're try this is a very serious topic, so we're gonna try to keep it professional and mature. That's all I ask. But yeah, let's get some discussion going. This should be fun. And yeah, if you got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. But all right, I guess we'll see you on the next video.